Hello everyone, I'm Alex Amoruso, I'm the Math Lab Student Ambassador at Politecnico di Torino and today I show you another example by using uh, uh, MATLAB and uh, Arduino. In particular, this is a sort of continuation of the last video that I've linked uh, in the video description down here. Uh, indeed, today I will uh, use again an MG sensor, an electromyography sensor, again placed in the same position uh, that we seen the last time uh, on uh, uh, the forum uh, but uh, today uh, the actuation will be different because I'll use a servo motor. Uh, the servo motor is very well suited for this type of uh, example since like the wrist um, it can rotate from 0 to 90 degree. So the goal from the, the for, of this project um, are connect servo uh, to Arduino and correctly configure it in MATLAB and this is very very simple and straightforward since uh, um, MATLAB already implements a simple function to do that and um, after that um, uh, as we've done uh, with the, the virtual actuation example we need to convert the values read by the sensor in angle to reproduce uh, the uh, real uh, actuation, the real-time actuation. Uh, that this time will be uh, of two kinds. Uh, we still have a virtual actuation, um, the one here, and of course um, a servo mod uh, we um, will use a servo motor uh, that moves this arrow to indicate the real-time angle. Okay, let's uh, Let's see the code. We have the same backbone as the code seen in the last video. Uh, the first edit is the addition of the servo object. Uh, in fact, in order to move the servo motor, we, we need to create the servo object using the servo function that uh, acquires uh, the Arduino object and the pin where the servo motor is attached. Then we can identify three main parts. Um, the first one, uh, again, uh, we need to create, uh, I choose to create uh, a graphic user interface to see a virtual actuation um, along with uh, a button and uh, um, the label that I've used in the previous videos in the channel. Uh, the visualization part is uh, um, exactly the same. I did not uh, edit any line here. Uh, the crucial part in this code is the um, creation of map and thresholds. Um, the, um, these four thresholds and uh, map are the same as the previous video where um, I uh, did a virtual actuation, but since we, um, uh, since we need to handle the conversion from voltage to angle for the um, real the physical actuation by using the servo motor uh, I need to uh, convert in another way using another map this because the right position function uh, the one that um, I will show you in a moment um, that allows us to move the servo accept, ac accepts a value between 0 and 1 so we, we have to convert in a different way from the one that we did for the virtual actuation and uh, um, more, more precisely I used a, 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 a map from 0 0.35 uh, to 1 because of the position chosen for the servo. So it was just a matter of trial and error uh, with different values to find the best ones for the extremal angles uh, 0 and 9 degrees, 90 degrees. Um, eventually, for the main loop, we add the part regarding the conversion from angle uh, to uh, angle unit to servo input uh, using uh, the uh, get value from uh, map. The get value from map, that is this function. I uh, essentially I reused the function that uh, that is the same that I used for, for the get angle function. Uh, here uh, the code is uh, the same uh, as in the previous video. So uh, I reuse the get, get value from map um, and, and then via, via the write position function I send to the servo motor the new position correcting, uh, correcting it using a simple offset 
uh, to obtain a better accuracy. Let's run the code. So here we have the two figures that appear, the signal and the virtual actuation, but we have also the physical actuation. So if I start to move my hand, the virtual, both the virtual and the physical actuators start moving according to the angles that shows on the label. Okay, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, with this video, I finished my uh, little series about uh, um, Arduino and the MATLAB uh, combo, uh, in particular using an MG sensor, uh, which uh, we can use that in uh, all kind of biomedical application. And uh, I invite you to join our Facebook and Instagram pages, MATLAB Polito, to um, uh, get in touch with the MATLAB world and also don't miss the, the next appointments and next video in our YouTube channel. Bye bye.